I'd never heard about polycystic ovarian syndrome and I was told lying down on a radiographer's table after having an ultrasound that you've got PCOS and that's all I was told there and then. Never heard about it, didn't know what it involved or what the symptoms were. I was watching a television show which was talking about polycystic ovarian syndrome and went to my GP and insisted that I get tested for it because the symptoms sort of matched how I'd been feeling. Um, so I was tested um, after sort of saying please test me and sort of quite insistent um, and it turned out that I was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's very overwhelming especially um, seeing that PCOS is related to infertility and to be told you're going to have a lot of problems having children in the future and you know when you're that age you, that's not really what you want to hear and be thinking about and to be dealing with. When I first spoke to my GP about it it was like a puzzle. I had these symptoms, yet no one believed me. Hello there. I'm Dr John Eden. I'm an Associate Professor at the University of New South Wales, and my specialty is women's hormones. I've spent the last 20 years researching polycystic ovary syndrome, and even though it's not a life-threatening condition, I've noticed that it can have devastating effects on the well-being of many women. So what is polycystic ovary syndrome? Who does it affect, and what treatments are available? The term polycystic ovary syndrome is an unfortunate one. The ovaries, for example, are not full of cysts. But unfortunately, the condition was named a couple of hundred years ago and now we're stuck with it. The polycystic ovary has a particular appearance. The little follicles in the ovary are arranged in a so-called pearl necklace pattern, but each follicle is only three or four millimetres in size. The, the polycystic appearance of the ovaries is simply an internal marker for a hormone condition just like the excess hair or acne can be an external marker of the same condition. About one in four women will have polycystic ovaries and about half of them will have polycystic ovary syndrome, meaning they have symptoms. Some of the problems that women with polycystic ovary syndrome may have include excess hair on the body, known as hirsutism, acne and other skin problems, scalp hair loss and thinning, irregular or missing periods, heavy periods, fertility problems, insulin resistance, and weight gain. So if you have two or more of these problems, it's likely you have polycystic ovary syndrome. If I suspect polycystic ovary syndrome, usually all that's required is a single blood sample. If you discover you've got polycystic ovary syndrome, don't panic. In this day and age, there's lots we can do to manage the symptoms. We know that 1 in 12 women have polycystic ovary syndrome, but many of them are undiagnosed and are suffering unnecessarily. Managing the symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome is remarkably simple. Excess hair can be managed with simple medical options as well as external treatments such as laser and electrolysis. As for acne, there are lots of medical options including contraceptive pills and other hormonal treatments as well as topical treatments such as peeling agents, facials and so on. Irregular periods and weight gain are usually associated with insulin resistance, which is often managed with low GI diet, exercise, and sometimes a drug called metformin. The end result is that my weight's dropped, my skin has improved, and I'm on a different pill, so I'm feeling much more healthy. Once I had a diagnosis for my condition and I had a name of what it was called, I was able to make a plan and look to the future and get on with living life. It's not an unknown anymore. I know what I'm dealing with and I've got the information and, you know, I, kn I know where I'm going and I know what to deal with. So, I'm, yeah, I'm very positive and I feel like, you know, I mean, knowledge is power, so I feel like I know I've got everything under control now. Through my journey and, and the, the highs and lows of the journey, where I'm at now is a really strong place. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of what I have. It, PCOS doesn't have me, but I have it. The aim of this film is to empower women with polycystic ovary syndrome to get the knowledge they need and the treatment they deserve.